Hand off right side into the end zone. Holding up the right side, they'll run. Tossing it and into the end zone. Touchdown, Bagley. Six from the 34 yard line. Trailing Chattanooga 21 0. Here's pressure. Carling gets it away and throws it right to a Chattanooga defender. Now second and goal. Lenore in motion. Bridges picks his way in for the score. Hodges uh, and you know maybe adjusting the, the play calling just a little bit here to, to suit his, his, his needs. Hodges will run, falls over a defender and then the ball is stripped and down the left sideline, Lucas Webb. Fourth and eight from the 25. Tiano, back to throw. Wide open. And a touchdown for James Stovall. Short field to make it 42-0. Second and three. Hodges, pump fakes. Down the field, he's got Law. Go, go. Breaks it free. And the Keenets on the board. Hurry up offense for Chattanooga. Pick up a five. This time it's Bagley, but it's stripped. A takeaway by the Keenets as Kratzenberg stripped the ball away from McCadre Bagley in the Keenet defense. Hodges will throw again. This time it's picked off. First and goal from the six. Play action fake. Underneath, there's Morton. He'll dive in for the score. Chattanooga with a second and goal from the eight. Bagley looking left, and he will get in. We've got to do better. We switched offense to try and run the ball better to get out of the RPO game and get into an under center style of offense where our linemen knew when it was a run, could come off the ball and knock people off the football. Uh, that hasn't consistently been happening as of today. Again, I think UT Chattanooga's defense is outstanding. You can turn on the LSU game and just look how physical they were against LSU. I mean, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. And last year, that same defense, UTC, held uh, Alabama to 335 yards offense. So they're, they're a good defensive unit. They're very talented. 20 transfers on their team. We played 19 freshmen in the game. We're a young team. I've said it from the beginning. We're a young team that's going to continue to improve as the season goes on. Uh, I'm very thankful to be the head football coach of this team. I love my players. There's no place I'd rather be. I told them that Friday night, and nothing changed today that makes me feel any different. We'll evaluate the game on how each and every play. You know, Austin had two interceptions early in the game and just felt like it wasn't his day. And so Dustin Ward and I talked, and we put uh, Duncan Hodges in the game, you know, had a little success with Duncan. And then with the score of the game, we told Duncan that. We were going to play Reese in the fourth quarter just to get him experience. It had nothing to do with how Duncan played. It just was uh, we wanted to get the young man some experience. We actually, since Dunk only had one series in the third quarter, we gave him a second series in the fourth before he put Reese in. But you know, the whole staff, offensive staff and I, will sit down, evaluate our quarterback situation, and see uh, who we want to be the starter at the Mercer game and from there moving forward.